Giant Quoto moment. Hello there, I am Giant Quoto with, with my 8th ever Let's Play on my channel. It's a uh, Konami game, okay, made by Konami. They're a really good brand, I think, in my opinion. Um, first you have to select the, le uh, I guess this is the language selection, selection screen. And, um, I think this is Britain. And this is, this one's France, I think. This one's... Not Japan, because Jan Japan has the red dot. Anyway, I don't know all these flags. Sadly, I should, honestly. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to go with Brit Britain, because uh, there's no United States flag on this thing, I don't think. So, and Britain's still in English, so yeah. Good. <laughs> and you can see by, like, the new game and the continue thing that uh, it is in English. So that's pretty good. This game is Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards for the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, um, I've, I've seen this. I've seen... I know how this game ends, I'm just, I haven't beaten it myself before, so just like Super Mario Bros. for the Game Boy Advance, I'm gonna just go as a, go along with like a guide along with me, to help me, like I did with um, Super Mario Bros. for the Game Boy Advance, as I said before, uh, as I didn't say that part before, but I said the, the game name again. This game came out in 1996, a year before I was born, and I heard this is a really fun game, I like the story in this game, it's based off like the second season of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, um, the first season was, like, how Yugi, Yugi, Joey, and all his friends, like, Taya, I can't remember the guy with the brown hair's name. Um, but yeah, they, um, the first season was them trying to get those little star pieces, or whatever they were called, star chips. And they were trying to, um, face off, Yugi was trying to face off against Pegasus, and Yugi's the main character. And now, um, that you know, Yugi's grandpa is awake from the, uh, the, um, the hospital and stuff. Spo I'll put a spoiler alert if you haven't seen the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, um, we, we actually are doing a duelist tournament by, uh, hosted by Seto Kaiba, I believe. So let's start with a new game. Uh, my new, my save data will be deleted. Yeah, okay, it's whatever. I didn't, I, I only got like two little, I only got the first little card in that file anyway. So I'm gonna just, uh, type in my name. So, um, yeah, this game has a lot of good story and I'm gonna, I'm pretty sh I'm pretty happy to LP it. And show you guys. And my name is Steven, of course, with a PH, but with a PH. I'm glad my name fits, that's good. Let's go. <laughs> Slowly fades out. Um, right here, um, oh, it's a cutscene, of course. Okay, I'll have to get through this first. Okay, I can't really do a good impression of any of these guys. I'm not, so just so my doling, but I can try, like, doing, like, separate voices for them. Uh, the battle city is today, Steven. Good morning, Steven. How have <laughs> you made your deck? Uh, Hey, I, my new deck is something special. It took me all night, but I, it's the best ever. Steven, did you put it together a good deck? Um, I'm just gonna say yes, but I already know what cards are gonna be already in the deck and stuff, so that's good. Hey, way to go! But I'm not. I'm about to lose to. T I'm not about to lose today. We've all been waiting for this tournament. I I forgot his. Yeah, I forgot. This is Yugi, of course, but like I forgot his. How did I did his voice? I'd be the great. It'd be great if you could all get to the finals if we could all get to the finals yeah you bet okay let's get going don't wa don't want to be late okay and then they'll just this is probably my bedroom it's a one bedroom house i guess it just has my bedroom okay so you, you want to save at your desk or your pc i guess you could say because your computer is on top of the desk so like, that's how you can save in this game just save at your desk really and if you notice that this um this game this video format um, it's not all stretched out, 16 by 9. It's um, actually has a little bit of sidebars, which are just like gradient, dark green, and black sidebars of mine. Like the one from the colors from my um, let's live uh, my live stream template currently. So um, I didn't want to stretch out the game. I'm trying something new. Like all my games will be like, um, whenever there's like supposed to be a black border or whatever, a black sidebars, or usually, um, I'll just uh, fill it with the back green background and stuff. So, like, it's an all stretched on stuff. Hopefully, you guys don't see too many detailed pixels or anything, because I don't want that to happen. I don't want to stretch out the pixels anymore. I, I'm pretty sure I gotta keep it like this for all my videos, but it could change. It could stay, I don't know. So, I just want to get out of the way, so, like, it's not all stretched out. Um, yeah. Um, hey, look at that. Everyone's here already. Hey, <laughs> look at all these tough duelists. Wow, that's, ex this is exciting. Oh, here's Seto Kaiba. Fellow duelists, welcome to the Battle City. Uh, let me explain the tournament rules. The tournament takes place throughout Domino City. Wherever duelists meet in the city, 
uh, that shall be where the duels take place. Duelists may play against play using only their own decks. Uh, the loser must turn over one rare card to the victor. Eight winning duelists will enter the final round. The final stage is hidden somewhere in town. Each of your duelists has received a located card. Um, you must defeat others and get their located cards. When you get, have g gathered six located cards, you will be, you will have the you will have the map to the final duel stage. You may duel with those puzzle cards at stake. In other words, only those who win duels and obtain the six located cards will earn the right to get up on stage for the finals. The tournament commences at 9 a.m. sharp. Now, follow, now fellow duelists, scatter throughout Battle City. And then Sido Kaiba just kind of leaves. Oh, and we also, um, in this game, you just you just play as like a main, well, a character that's made up. Because Yugi, Yugi Moto is usually the, is the main character in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. So you usually should play as him, but they made it, um, a made up character for you. So, um, you're the main character in this game. And there's slight differences, um, with how the rules roles take place with all the characters, the main characters at least. And, um, yeah, there's different rules compared to the Yu-Gi-Oh! card game in this game that are not followed. Which are like, um, how you can, how you can do certain things within duels and stuff. I'll try to show off as many as I know. But there's quite a few, I think. Or I may be wrong about that. Okay, it's finally starting. Yeah, you bet. Even our, us rivals from even even us, we're rivals from now on. Try to hang into the into the ends, Yugi and Steven. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll do my best too. Don't get caught care, careless, hey, Joey. I think you should be careful yourself. Haha. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Once you you've collected all the cards, let's meet up. We shall get together at my grandpa's toy shop. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Alright, I'm off. Both of you don't lose until the finals. <laughs> See you. Well, if you lose a duel in this game, you kind of just go back to your bedroom. And you can just keep on rematching that uh, duelist, other duelist. And, but you lose your um, card that you put up for Ante. And then you have an option to not put up a card for Ante. But if you win the duel without putting a card up for Ante, then you don't get a card from the losing duelist. That you battled or dueled. Yeah. So I think you can press A to just talk to people. And then, uh, like, I, for example, Yugi right here. We should go win some cards, too. And then if you press R, uh, like I did on my controller. You may have heard the click on my game controller. Um, it's not 9 o'clock yet, Steven. I should be going to. Go for it, Steven. So, you gotta... Okay, if you listen to that chime there, that means you've done something to progress in the story. So, um, you just can talk to the main characters around in Domino City. There's not too many. They're all kind of close by, and so it's not like you have to go out of your way to find them. Um, I think this guy's name is Rex. Um, sure, but wait, I'll duel when the time comes. But don't, don't duel anyone who is too uncool. It'd be a waste of time. Okay, so you don't have to talk to Rex, because he's not really a character you need to talk to for in the game. Well, here's Bones. <laughs> I hate bright places like this. I'll be waiting for you somewhere dark. Until then. And he goes off. And then you hear that chime again, so that's like another person. Um, I'm gonna come back to that area. Um, here's, um, I don't even know remember his name. Wait, wait, it's not time yet. We'll meet again somewhere in Battle City, bro. And, yeah, he goes off. And I think the last character is, uh, Maya, which is right here. She's right here. Whoa, slow down, baby. I'll take you on if the opportunity arises. See you. And I think that's the last main character you have to talk to, so if you do is go, go to the right right here and oh wait there's another character I, wait there's one person i missed oh wait i missed this guy i think i forget his name honestly who aren't you aren't you impatient the tournament hasn't even started we have a little feast on you the next time we meet ho 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 i don't even know how far that's the dog he went right through me Jeez. there's a time where like characters will just go right through you walk right through you it's kind of weird they'll all walk off all three of them and now you can go to the right of this screen and then hopefully it'll yeah Next cutscene to progress in the game. It's 9 o'clock then after you talk to all the main characters, Joey. Hey, it's starting. Joey says. I'm probably going to just comment in my actual voice because I can't keep up with all these voices. I'm really bad with that. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, there's a dog barking. Ah, it's not my dog. 
My dog's being quiet right now. Okay, I won't lose. Okay, there's Rex. Yeah, we do battle him later on, so, because he's the main character. Oh, it's about time. Joey, we'll adjust your weight. And there's Sato Kaiba. I'm the Duel King. This is where I prove it. Nice. So, um, to start off, I can show off my deck, I guess. And we get 40 cards to work with. You can't get, you don't get, you only get 40 cards to work with. But you can switch out, uh, you can switch out de uh, cards with other cards, like more powerful cards. So, like, if you go to status, um, you'll see my name. Uh, deck capacity. That, um, ma every card has, like, a desk, uh, cost or death count. Not death count. Um, cost, and my phone's going off like crazy. And that just determines if you can put that card in your deck at the time, but you can always swap out other cards to get your desk, to increase your deck capacity to get powerful cards, or decrease it to make room for other cards. I have only one locator card so far. And I have 500 Domino, which Domino is the currency of money. I should it there. My duelist level is 72, by the way. So, I think the cost means that, um, it could, I think it means with your desk capacity. I'm pretty sure just with your deck, cap deck capacity. So, to start, I'm just going to take on, um, these two, tra these two duelists right here. I'm thinking Pokemon for a second. Wait, uh, what? You want to go with me? Sure, let's battle. Okay, sure thing. So first thing, you have to put a card up for Ante, or you can choose not to put a card up for Ante, but I'm just going to do it so I can get a card if I win this duel. Okay, it's, okay, my turn. Okay, so I have Dark Hole right here, and Skeleton Joel, and Bone Mouse, uh, Morphean, Dark Hole as I said, and Flame Viper. So a Skeleton Joel, I'm going to send it Skeleton Joel and just attack this card. And if the card, um... Is good against another card it'll automatically just wipe it out and destroy it no matter how like the, the attack points or the defense points which um I think it was maybe I think that was maybe changed from the original Yu-Gi-Oh card game or the yeah the the, the official one because this one doesn't follow the rules the rules of the um, some of the rules of the actual card game so I'm gonna just put that attack and then bone mouse and yeah, I'll put Bone Mouse. I'll put. I can't. I can't summon a card. So just to end your turn, basically you can go to turn. You press B and just turn end, and that'll be the other turns. Person's turn. Now whoever goes first in a duel is completely random. I don't know what decides it at all. It's just random. So yeah. Okay. Bolt. Okay. Um, I'll just set, I'll just switch it up and do Flame Viper attack that face down card, and it didn't do a thing. Dang it. Okay, so it was like a standoff, I guess, or draw. <laughs> okay, and yeah, I have to end my turn right here, because, yeah, okay. Okay, um, I think I'm going to sacrifice Flame Viper, or tribute it, and that way I can uh, summon uh, Bolt Ex Escrondrat, or the snail thing. <laughs> Cause um the top on the top left corner of the card you'll see like a little number or a number if there's a number there that t that means you have to um tr uh, sacrifice a tribute same thing basically um a monster to uh, summon it so yeah Skullinger will take out that monster and then now that the person doesn't have anything on the field I can just attack or anything in attack mode on the field I can just attack its life points which is a nice we start off with eight eight thousand life points for every duel. Um, for every duel in the game, so keep that in mind. Um, okay, I'm gonna end my turn here because that's all I can do, really. Okay. Um, hmm. I'll just skill and draw again. Attack the face down card, and then yeah, bolt. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce that name, really. I'm sorry. I'm gonna end my turn right there, but I attacked its life points directly, so that's good. Usually, you get, you should like these first two duels, uh, duels should be, should go by pretty fast, and you should always win them because you're like overpowered compared to the other regular duels that aren't main characters. So yeah, I'll have to probably need one more turn. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tribute 
this monster and put out a um, Morphean or whatever that is. And then Skeletor can just attack the face down card. And I don't think I. Oh yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Just making sure I had enough. Well, I definitely had enough attack to beat that um, duelist. I guess the opponent has a lot of life points. So when that happens, it's a dual victory. Your deck capacity. Okay, might increase by five. And 88 Domino was obtained. So yeah, the Furious Sea King was obtained. That's pretty cool. So cost. Um. Yeah, a magnificent roar of the seas and monster master of waves. It creates uh, endless tidal waves that shall swallow all before it. So it has 800 attack and 700 defense, and it's level three because that's what the stars mean. Level three card. So I might put this in my deck actually later on. To, I I thought I could win. Okay, so let me see here. Go to my trunk, I guess. Um, I'm gonna see. Okay, hold on. We can we can actually organize the deck into different um st statuses or categories, I should say. So um, last last warrior from another planet is my most powerful card right now. So that's pretty cool. But I want to just pick out some weak cards so I can try to fit that um other card that I just want in my deck. So. Let me see if I can do this. Oh man, I can't. Some of these you can't really. Oh man. I'm trying to think, like, why is it not letting me? Yeah, it's just unhappy maiden. Oh no, I don't want to keep that actually. Okay, still swerping now. So I want to eat her. Well, actually, I want you to, you know, put. I want you to put um one card, uh, get rid of one card on my deck, and well, not get rid of it for sure, for permanently, just remove it from my deck for now. So I'm gonna go back to my attack again. I think it was 800 points. That it was. Yeah, he's right here. Okay, so I'm gonna add the Furious Sea Monster again. Uh, you can go to so the Furious Sea King. There we go. Okay, and let's take on this duelist right here. Okay, here goes. So let's see here. Um, let's I'll put I'll put Fenny through the same card, I guess. Doesn't really matter, I guess. So that's good. Oh, skill and jewel again, nice. So I think I can do skill and jewel's effect, which um lets me draw one card from my deck. And yeah, that wasn't a good pull. Okay. Pot of Greed was activated, two cards, deck, one hand, okay. Um, I don't really have, yeah, that, I could have gone better with that one, I mean, I could have just attacked, which I should have, you know. I don't have really powerful cards right here. Let's attack this card right here, yeah. And let's go and draw attack this card, nice. And on my turn, okay. So I'll put another card in defense. There we go. So I'm gonna try attacking with this. Yep. The morphing jar. Yeah. And skeleton jar can attack his um directly. You get rid of some of his life points. By like attack, um skeleton jar for example has 900 attack. So if I if he has no attack cards on the field, then that does a 900 uh, life points directly. So that's really cool. Ah oh, man. Okay, so let's just attack. I think I already attacked with these guys. Yeah, okay, I did. So I'll end my turn. I put another card in defense. So I'm gonna put. I'm gonna say the Morphing Jar can attack the Magician or whatever the card I just destroyed. And then attack the opponent's life points uh, directly again. So he has down, he's, uh, he's down to 5,000 life points, okay. And I'm gonna attack it again directly. And then in my turn. Okay, let me see if I can do some sacrifices to summon a powerful monster now. Well, all my monsters are, um, don't need to be... All my cards that are in my hand don't need any sacrifices to be summoned. So, I'll just um, put out Bone Mouse. And Bone Mouse will attack this person right there. Yeah, way to go Bone Mouse. And then everyone on my, on my, everyone on my field just now can um, just attack directly against his life points. So that's good turn end.
Okay, it's his turn again. He's kind of struggling because he keeps on just putting a face count, face card down, face monster face down. Uh, face, I don't really know how to say that. Uh, his fa his face down card is in defense and it's a monster, but he's struggling because he has to put in defense. Um. Okay, I think I think I can only have five monsters on the field at once. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna just um attack this. Yeah, there we go. I should be this sh it should be the last turn I need to um actually attack someone with. So that's good. So his life points are gone. Dick capacity increased by five. Fifty four domino was obtained. And we got uh Vish Vishwar Rande. Okay, um Okay. I'll put, I'll consider putting this card in my deck. So yeah, what do you say? <laughs> you don't say you're strong. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my trunk, I guess, and I'm gonna set again by attack, organize by attack, and let me see if I can just um, you know, place one of my weaker cards with the card I just got that has a 900 attack. I that I saw. Um, can't do any of these, I guess. Yeah. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Well, Zone Eater, I guess, can just get removed from my deck. So again, I'm gonna go to attack again, and then find the 900 attack section. And... There's this card, yeah. So let's put that in my deck. Oh, and also, you see how my deck capacity keeps on increasing and decreasing. That's whenever I take or add cards. Like, whenever I take, uh, just, whenever I remove cards from my deck, the deck capacity goes up, up, because, um, each card has a uh, cost, which is the deck capacity, I think. So yeah, but every time I add a card, it, the deck capacity goes up. Or the deck capacity goes up whenever I add a card, and it goes down, which is good if you want to like rearrange your deck. If it, go, it goes down whenever you remove a card, so that's good. So yeah, my deck capacity is 1,610, so I'm at a good spot right now. I still have room in my deck to add cards, and that's really nice. So... Uh, I actually want to get my first low creative card in this part, so I want to just take on this guy, I guess. You don't have to battle one of them. I pressed L and still are there. <laughs> meat, meat, fresh meat. Okay, he isn't obsessed with me. I'm going to just put my same card up for Ante, I guess. Okay, it's his turn. Okay, let's see what I have. I'll put this card and attack your face down card. There we go. And I'll end my turn, I guess. Puts another card in defense. Okay. Let's see here. I'm going by attack here. Okay, so yeah. Um, well, try not to. He has the same card there. <laughs> okay, so my, my chameleon or whatever can just attack his life points directly. And I'll end my turn. Okay. Okay, so Dark Hole, nice. Um, I guess Morphing Joy can come out next. And I'll switch it up and yeah, there we go. That works. Just attack his life points again directly. And end my turn. Okay, it's my turn again. So I'm gonna attack this card directly again. Destroy it, good. And there we go. There we go, it's his turn now again. Okay, I think I want to sacrifice to summon someone. Yeah. Okay. So I'll tribute this guy and summon. Uh, wait, what's the details on this? Okay, hold on. I'll just um just attack his cut face card down again. Attack with this guy. Attack with this guy. Morphian. Yeah. And end my turn. You know, he should only last like one more turn. Well, this would be his last turn, basically. I just did. Because I'm going to win this duel. Ha ha ha. And there we go. Good game. Duel victory. The capacity of by 5. 280 domino was obtained. And Z Zenka. Ooh, that's, that's a good card for now. And the cost is low, too. I'll add that to my deck if I have room. I'm pretty sure I still have room for that. Okay, so let me see if I can add it. Attack. I wonder if I can add it. No, okay, I have to remove a card first because I can only have four cards in my deck. 
So let's see here. Yeah, let's just Sinister Surfer, I guess, can be removed from my deck. And then that other card that I just got was like 1500 Zenka, yeah. There we go. Yeah, my, yeah, my capacity is still fine. Okay, cool. So I want to go for my first low card as I said before. So